Hey guys, this is Tila Deal with Self Harm Youth or Shy, and so I literally just woke up. I haven't even had enough time to brush my hair. I came in the kitchen. I turned on the TV, and the lady from Super Nanny or Nanny Nine One One. If you don't know what it is, it's where some British lady comes in your house and tells your kids that they don't behave well and tell their parents that they don't parent well. Anyways, um, she was talking about how there's bad kids, and I'm like, it, hell no, girl, you don't know shit. I didn't say the T, so it's not cussing. Um, <laughs> there's not bad kids. There's kids who make decision on a logical reason in their mind that make bad decisions that at the time they don't realize the consequence the con consequences the consequences it's a cause and effect problem it's not a kid problem it's possibly a parenting problem deal with it anyways the nanny was talking about how um how parents react to kids their their kid how parents react to child's behavior, and that is what I'm talking about today, and I'm talking about um, parents' reactions to self-harm. I'm going to just start talking about my parents' reactions to self-harm, um, to my self-harm. When I first told my mom, um, there was, it was actually a really nice moment between us. She thought I was cutting myself on the cage. I was not. I do not have tetanus because I was not cutting myself on the cage and I, when I told her that she was like but with a little more emotion and more tears um, you know she was really comforting and accepting about it and I think it was more like disbelief oh my gosh I weird um, <laughs> um, she was really you know, it, it was shocking, and I can understand that. Um, so we cried, we shared emotional whatever. And the next time, about four months later, um, I was sleeping all night. A few days before, I had wrote a carved perfection into my arm. And I had a short sleeve shirt. The first day, I wore a short sleeve shirt to bed. And I was sleeping, sleeping, sleeping all happily. And she put her hand on my arm, and it was like a, oh my gosh, a wide-eye mo moment, deer in the headlights, holy canoodles. And she flipped shiznit. Flipped it, and flipped it, and flipped it. I'm pretty sure shiznit was on the walls. That's how much she flipped it. And, yeah, I can understand. It's a little bit worse than cutting, because there's kind of a, a word in your arm. Right there, just in plain sight. <laughs> and my mom actually made me write a contract and sign a contract how I would never cut again because, and if I did, I would get stuff taken away from me. I'm not going to mention what stuff would be taken away from me, but it's stuff that meant a lot to me. And let's just say I wasn't too happy about that because, sorry, that's not going to help me. I'm not just going to stop because I signed my name on something. Um, so she got, she was really mad. And so I'm like, well, hell, I ain't gonna tell you if I'm cutting her. And it's like, it's a problem. It's not like I'm, I'm doing it to protest against your parenting. I feel like crud and that's why I do it. So, let's just say, I didn't tell her I was cutting for about eight months to a year. And... Then I started seeing a counselor, I told her about my cutting issues, I told her that yeah, I was still cutting and I wasn't going to tell her because she made me sign some stupid ass contract that um, I obviously wasn't going to follow and all that and it's like I want to keep my mom in the loop. I only live with my mom so she's kind of the only person I have in the house. Anyways, 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 she, my mom felt like my counselor was attacking her. I don't see my counselor anymore. And, um, but it was true, and she, she was more accepting over it. And the first couple times that I, she saw me cutting, she was just like, she was really upset over it. She was kind of angry, but she wasn't like, sign the contract or. Um, shut up! Sorry, my dogs are barking. Seriously, dude. Mm. 
Um, my dad's reaction to my cutting was a lot more blah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> when I first told my dad, I was actually over text message. It was it's kind of an idiotic thing to do. But when I actually talked to him about it, he was just like, okay, you know, that's fine. And I, I was like, do you not even care that I'm hurting myself? Because it's like, I do, I did want to tell my parents and be like, I wanted to see what they were going to think about it. And I thought they were going to think I was crazy, but whatever. Um, yeah, but my dad didn't really, he wasn't really overly, not concerned, but he knew I wasn't going to kill myself. And then my mom's reactions were like, she's going to kill herself. And my dad was like, whatever, you know, as long as you're not really hurting yourself that much, I understand. And then my mom was like, no. So they really had different reactions. Like, of course, my dad was like, this is a bad thing. I don't want you to do it. But he was more like, I understand why you're doing it. And my mom was more like, go draw and take your feelings out that way, which wouldn't help me anyways. And, you know, I, parents' reactions are really hard. And they're really scary because, I mean, they're not just like friends where you go away they have time to think it's like your parents they're there for you constantly they can't just defriend you off of facebook because they think you're crazy they have to deal with you all the time and you have to deal with them and that's really hard and i know my parents a lot of times my parents are the reasons why i want to cut and it's really hard this is also just just saying a generalization of this is just my personal um you know self-harm stories and i know it's different for different self-harm this is just my experience with cutting um so if i have any advice for parents it's just accept your kids and love them because i honestly think that if my reaction if the reaction to cutting was more come here let me hold you instead of oh my god from both of my parents really um because i think my dad was almost a little too lax about it my mom was too extreme we mix those together we probably wouldn't have had a good a good time but it's just you know give your kids love and make them know that you care about them and give them options and say hey if you want help we can find it together Instead of being like, um, you're going to a mental hospital, which I was threatened with that once. That was weird. Probably should go there, though. Anyways. Um, then I'm gonna end this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you guys have some self-harm reaction stories, um, I put my kick username in my other video description, but I will also do that in this description too. Um, I, or you can Facebook me. My Facebook link is on my main, um, my main YouTube channel. The link is just there. You can go to the about and get my link from there too. So, um, yeah, just message me your fun self-harm stories. Fun. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, I will talk to you guys later. And please like, and I have a little cut on my finger. I don't know, I wonder her washing my hands. <laughs> um, please like and subscribe, and, uh, share this video. Again, none of my friends share my videos. It's really pit. I was going to say pisses and ticks at the same time it came out picks. It really picks me off, guys. So share my videos and like and subscribe. And if you're going through stuff, whether it's anything, again, my kick username is down below. And my Facebook description is on my main channel. So sorry I look like crud, but you get what you get. <laughs>